Hello everyone. My name is Professor Khawla Ahmad. Uh, my colleague Therwat and I, who've done this research together, are honored to be part of the conference, which is held in the beautiful country of the Republic of Korea. I want to thank the organizers um, and the organizing committee who have done a great job in all aspects related to this conference. In specific, I want to thank Lindsay, who has eff efficiently and patiently dedicated her time to answer our questions and address all our concerns. I also want to thank Roger Nunn, a wonderful colleague and excellent organizer who continuously encourages and positively affects those around him. Though I cannot be physically present with you, I'm there with my heart and hope that this recorded presentation compensates for not being there and will surely benefit from all the great research conducted by all our colleagues in this conference. In this presentation, I will be talking to you about the research conducted by Therwat and I titled An Exploratory Analysis of Student Perspectives on ChatGPT Across Disciplines. Higher education is one of the core components of any society that is responsible for the production of tomorrow's leaders and therefore carry out great responsibilities in ensuring the integrity of the knowledge individuals learn and the certificates they carry. And generative artificial intelligence tools like ChatGPT are becoming challenging for institutions to ensure and maintain such integrity. Today, higher academic institutions are grappling with the issues of AI and in specific ChatGPT. Because AI language generating systems have been increasingly used in the educational system to generate or edit information and are highly used by students today. It is true that research shows that ChatGPT or AI in general has many benefits, such as the potential educational tools for statistics and data sciences, improving the quality of student productivity, and producing a literature review. Yet, it also shows that there are downfalls with these advantages or benefits, such as cheating and violating academic integrity, preventing students from independent thinking, and pro proliferating biased material. And so, due to such issues, there are many who are calling for, the, for us to use alternative plans and tools that can detect using ChatGPT. As we can see, there's a great deal of research that is produced out there that shows that there are many trade-offs. For example, researchers um, by for, um, research conducted by Forknia and all have done a SWOT analysis of ChatGPT. And they show that ChatGPT is, and I quote, a sophisticated natural language model that can generate plausible answers with self-improving capability and providing personalized and real-time responses. They can also increase access to information, facilitate personalized and complex learning, and decrease the teaching work workload. The drawbacks, of course, of ChatGPT that they have come out with is that the lack of deep understanding, difficulty in evaluating the quality of responses, which is a risk of bias and discrimination, and a lack of higher order thinking skills, which presents threats to education that include a lack of understanding of the contest, threatening academic integrity, perpetrating discrimination in education, democratizing plagiarism, and declining higher order cognitive skills. So as we can see, there is an abundance of research and literature that deals with plagiarism concerns, issues such as examining student use of ChatGPT, their benefits to both teachers as well as students, research that examines the potential for plagiarism using ChatGPT in, for example, generating academic essays, with high originality and making it difficult to detect plagiarism with traditional tools, 
providing a comprehensive examination of ChatGPT and the key technological concepts behind it, and covers potential benefits of ChatGPT in even academia as well as libraries, including improved searching, reference services, cataloging, and content creation. And so there is a great deal of research, as we said, um, that tackles many aspects of ChatGPT, whether it is its history, the technology behind it, and even the AI technologies like computer vision and robotics um, that are going to be combined with it in the future, where humans can interact naturally with AI-driven robots, smart home systems, some of which we already see in our context today. But Research also cautions that the ethical and societal applications of these advantages of these advancements, especially those that concern data of privacy and job displacement, do pose a serious issue. Hence, the importance of evaluating information and its credibility and trustworthiness. In this research paper, we also delve into um, the factors that impact the student's re responses, because it is important to understand how information seekers evaluate the outputs that they get and how they assess their credibility and trustworthiness. Research defines credibility as a characteristic defined by a reader's judgment, not necessarily equivalent to the actual quality of the information, such as its accuracy or trust or truthfulness. While trust is defined as referring to the belief that someone or something is reliable, and it indicates a positive belief, uh, belief about the perspective, uh, about the perceived reliability or dependability or confidence in a person, an object, or a process. That is, that is a precursor for successful and effective adoption, interaction, and ongoing commitment in the digital space. In this paper, we consider trust and credibility as two aspects of the same concept without entering the debate about their differences in nature because the articles we analyzed in our paper use both terms without much discrimination, showing that the issue of defining the true relationship between trust and credibility is still very much unresolved. And so we come to the need of the study. We find that the majority of the studies that are conducted primarily rely on the author's anecdotal examples and speculations. There's no research on students' perceptions toward chat GPT generated answers. Therefore, research is needed to assess how generative AI, in this case, chat GPT is being perceived and utilized by the students in in this institution and hopefully in all other institutions. The objective of this study is to investigate university students' knowledge of educational technology and their trust and credibility in the use of chat GPT generated responses. The research seeks to answer the following questions. Do students have knowledge of ChatGPT? What is the extent of the student's knowledge regarding ChatGPT? Do students use ChatGPT in generating academic outputs? And last but not least, what factors impact trust and credibility in ChatGPT generated responses? For the data collection and procedure, we had a link to a Google survey, which was sent to the church level students in an English medium private university in the UAE. It was administered in English and consisted of 35 questions. The survey was created online on the Google Forms website and the link to the, and the, link to the survey was shared with all the students through the university's office of research, of course, after doing the IRB and going through all of that procedure. We conducted a pilot study on the survey with students in order to improve the wording and content of the survey before sending it officially to the four different colleges or schools in the university.
The survey was administered randomly to 381 students at the university and the respondents were distributed across different colleges, majors, academic years, and genders. As we see um, as well, um, the data analysis, what we did was the survey questions were analyzed using one proportion hypothesis test. And as you can see, the results here from the um, 100, from the 381 students that responded, they were distributed uh, across different colleges, majors, academic years, and genders, providing a comprehensive view of the student body. As we can see from the results in regards to familiarity, there's a significant aspect of the student um, of the study that involved investigating their familiarity. And as is, as you can see from the um, the table, 62% of the respondents had AI training or background, showcasing a substantial level of technical exposure within the sample. Additionally, we had 98%. Um, of the students that responded were aware of ChatGPT's existence, indicating a high degree of awareness and accessibility within the student community. Among those aware of the ChatGPT, more than 50% learned about it through friends, followed by chance encounters, which is 37%, and last but not least, the professors in class. This suggests a considerable influence of social circles in disseminating information about chat GPT. Um, in this chart also, in this table also, we can see the issues concerning the use of chat GPT. We see that more than 94% of the respondents acknowledge using the language model chat GPT. This high adoption rate indicates a widespread integration of chat GPT into the academic workflow. In terms of application, more than 80% of the participants use chat GPT in research and writing tasks, and more than 77% of the participants use it for ideas for research topic, emphasizing its role as a tool for academic ideation. And more than 67% do their assignments and more than 49% use it to edit what they have written. In regards to using ChatGPT in generating academic output and the question that relates to that, we see that more than 78% of the respondents reported being restricted from using ChatGPT by their instructors. Now, this limitation was observed across the various assessments items, including answering questions on tests or quizzes, as well as writing uh, messages and writing whole research papers. In regards to the factors impacting trust and credibility in chat GPT generated responses, we can see that 68% of the respondents initially got what they were looking for when using chat GPT. However, less than 18% were, were not always happy with what was generated, suggesting room for improvement. Less than 30% of the participants rated accuracy of chat GPT responses as dissatisfied or very dissatisfied. And less than 11% of the uh, participants stated chat GPT responses were not useful to their academic needs. In terms of usefulness for academic needs, the average response demonstrates a moderate level of perceived utility. As you can see um, from the results, the um, study provides valuable insights into the spread, or in this case, very widespread adoption, um, the different usage patterns and the nuanced perceptions of chat GPT within the student population at the academic community. Um, as well, it explores the student's use of chat GPT and the trust in and perceptions of the credibility of chat GPT generated response responses. We find that most of the students are aware of ChatGPT, uh, have also been exposed to it, and use it much um, in their research and writing tasks. One of the interesting things we noted in this study is that the computer science students, followed by the computer engineering students, use ChatGPT more than any other students in the study's population. Now, this may be due to the nature of their major, or they may be trying it out to see how ChatGPT works, or using it to generate codes for the pro programming tasks that they also do. 
in all cases, um, we see that though most of the students are, assist, are satisfied with the responses and they initially get what they look for when using ChatGPT, the majority do verify the responses that ChatGPT gives them using other sources. This means that one needs to think critically about the responses receiving, uh, being received using chatbot, uh, chatbots such as ChatGPT. We also see that it's important to consider the knowledge base of all the language models like Ch ChatGPT use and address inaccuracies in their responses as the research, as previous research also shows. What this research also does is it shows us that such tools need to, ex you know, people using such tools need to exercise their own judgment as well as use other sources to assess the validity and reliability of the information being spewed out at them, particularly as current research aiming to identify AI generated decks using many detection techniques and methods show that the AI models have become sophisticated to the point that it is difficult to distinguish between AI and human generated text. Therefore, there's a need to clearly engage with ChatGPT since it is a tool and not a, def a definitive source of knowledge. It has the tendency to generate reasonable sounding information that may be false information that is not verified. And we need to remember that such a tool lacks real understanding and provides lengthy responses that can be repetitive and may produce biased and politically charged content that may not recognize ethical, legal, or safety constraints. In conclusion, chat GPT emerges as a versatile and an invaluable instrument harboring substantial promise in facilitating engaging and adaptable language acquisition. But we in this investigation advocate for the language educators to delve into the pedagogical prospectives offered by chat GPT and em employ it in enhancing educational practices that are firmly grounded in theory and principles. As for the findings and the implications, um, there's many for higher education institutions, faculty, students, administrators, um, in developing their existing academic practices and establishing policies to better deal with and incorporate AI generative um, tools in their classrooms, in administration, and many other places that fit the context which in turn, they may lead to, pro to improving students' um, experiences, educational quality, and increasing willingness to adopt um, subsequent innovations in, G uh, in uh, AI technology, generative AI technology. This study provides information based on student experiences that may prove useful for instructors and administrators as well. For future research, um, there are many things that we um, have um, come up with, such as additional insights could be obtained using a more diverse set of respondents from countries across cultural settings. Um, future investigations may also look at higher education faculty use of AI implementation tools and their trust in the results that they obtain using this technology. Researchers may also probe into the gender differences between faculty and students in their understanding, perceptions, and their usage of AI. They may also decide to investigate any connections between student use of ChatGPT and their field of study. With this, I end this presentation and thank you for listening. If you have any questions, we are more than happy to answer you. Just email us at the emails provided at the beginning of this presentation. I wish you all the best for a very successful conference and hope to one day meet you all in person. The last few slides are the references cited in the presentation. I hope you find these um, helpful to you and the best of luck to everyone. Bye.